Several areas lost power in today's heat, but the issues appear isolated and only impacting just a few customers. Our Justin Sacher continues our team coverage to show us what's going on and why there appear to be fewer electrical issues overall with this heat wave. Justin. Well, just like appliances and computers and even your phone, high heat impacts electronics and it's no different for the equipment you see behind me. Hot days usually mean longer days for PG&E crews. If the grid is a mechanical device and sometimes mechanical devices will fail. Um, we do see them fail during extreme heat waves. PG&E spokesperson Denny Boyle says they've prepared ahead of time. We go into an extreme heat, heat event. Uh, we do a couple things. You know, it's, it's a little different right now uh, because a large number of our customers are still sheltering in place. High heat has a history of interrupting electrical service in California because demand can exceed capacity. You may be most familiar with flex days. PG&E offers incentives for people to reduce power to avoid overloading the system when it's hot. That's not an issue right now. California's independent system operator manages traffic on our electrical grid. They report COVID-19 has notably reduced electricity use, a drop of 7.4% at peak times. And just comparing electricity use today to a similar heat wave last year, demand clearly lower. So right now, PG&E's map here on my phone has three dots in Fresno, and they all show that there are one uh, or two customers affected each, and they've been changing through the day today. So it is going on, but it is not in the same place over time. Thank goodness for now. Live here in Fresno, Justin Sacher, KC24, local news that matters. Yes, thank goodness for that. Thank you, Justin.